So the front suspension gets started with this setup here. You get an upright and uh, this gets affixed at a 90 degree angle with this little little washer in between. All this gets secured by a simple little hex screw and a lock nut, a plastic lock nut. And this gets done once on each side. So get these assembled and then after that it gets a few support pieces before it gets mounted onto the the chassis itself. So I'll get that assembled and then I'll come back before I mount it to the chassis. I've got the front suspension arms built kind of a little bit heavier than I thought they'd be. Nice solid metal parts here. But now I begin the process of installing these onto the chassis frame that I built earlier. Um, they get connected on either side of these two holes here to the chassis along with a body post and a couple other things so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these mounted uh, they were really simple just a couple of plastic pieces here um, these are pretty much the arms the flex and then the suspension rod here and a typical steering setup so I'm gonna go ahead and connect these and the body post so I've got everything set aside to start building these arms. It's a very different process. That's why I got this kit because it looks so different in setup than any other kit I've built. So well, uh, first things it gets these springs. I already got them in my little parts bin here. A small spring that goes into this hole. And then on top of that spring gets one of these little nibs. And the end of this gets greased with the Tamiya grease. So I run a little, a little bit of their, their grease around this the little brush I got. And I'm going to put that in over. over the spring so it's kind of sitting there um, that's per manual instructions I'm going to do that on both sides and then over that I get this metal plate get one of these metal plates on each side that gets mounted over this nib on top of this metal plate gets mounted the body post gets a little extension and the body post gets mounted on here and then the arms get mounted to these metal plates so in the end I should have something that looks remotely like a front end these will be attached this is one wood there's my arm and everything gets mounted here and the body post gets mounted on top right there so I'll go ahead and do this work and show how it turns out. Um, you can see that nib is over that spring. I'm going to do a little better job of looping it up and do the same thing on the other side to get this thing built. So I got the front end assembled as I said. It went together super easy and those springs are really effectual sitting up in that chamber. Um, so the front suspension is done and now move on to attaching this bumper not much to that um, probably won't detail that too much it does get this little support plate in between not quite sure what that's for but that gets mounted in between this chassis and the bumper so I'll go ahead and do that and next I move on to building the gearbox